So we're just down here at Ping HQ Europe in Gainsborough in the UK and we're just in the uh, factory here. We're just going to take you through a little tour of how ping clubs are made. Um, from the order coming in to obviously the assemble of the clubs to whatever spec it may be through a fitting that you, you guys may have had. Um, right through to actually dispatching it, boxing it and getting out the door. And the, this place here um, supplies and, and and builds clubs for all across Europe. So there's approximately 200 people working in this factory here, uh, approximately making you know up to 3,000 single irons, a couple of thousand woods per day, and obviously getting that out the door, all custom built from scratch. There's nothing that is pre-built and then adjusted. It's all done component-wise and sent out. And this is a really impressive place. So I'm going to take you through that little journey here, just to give you guys a bit of a, a background uh, sort of view of how the process sort of works and um, how they would end up coming to you and you would unbox and obviously take onto the golf course. And the birth certificate is uh, birth certificate is born. So it gives you the account number, the account details, the specification of the club that needs uh, needs purchasing. So in this case, it's a set of G700s, five to sandwich, so seven different heads. It's going in with the Alta CB soft regular shaft at standard length, blue color code, so one degree more upright, and then it's got the tall velvet standard size white grip on there as well. If you had someone who was a bit of a Bubba fan and wanted the layers of tape that Bubba has, that could be detailed on here with the extra grip wraps. Likewise, if someone wanted their lofts a little stronger or a little weaker, you can do. And if someone wanted to specify a particular swing weight that they wanted to hit outside of what we recommend, we can put that on there as well and build it accordingly. Okay, so we have the ability to produce and deliver anything we want. Okay. Uh, so once, uh, once it's been printed off, the guys then pull all the relevant different product depending on what the birth certification is. So in this case, if it was a set of G700s, you pull all the different heads, the different models from, uh, from the racking here. Uh, we've got the Stealth wedges, you've got the GLE, G400, G700 at the bottom. Um, you've got some of the older product like G30, uh, left-handed gear, some of the Glide 2.0s and the platinum finish. Uh, so it is a case of the guys going along one by one and pulling the uh, pulling the product out like you see Simon doing uh, Simon doing over there. When we uh, when we cast our product, all our uh, all our models are cast. Uh, we cast them as close to a blue lying up as possible. That's because it is the most commonly custom fit lying up that you can do. Um, each head is the, and goes through a unique heat treating process. So we're the only manufacturer to heat treat our product which improves the molecular structure. Mm -hmm. So it means that it makes the metal a little bit softer so you can adjust it more, but also it improves the molecules so that it's a little bit more consistent across the face. So each of these heads can be adjusted to maroon, which is five degrees upright, or all the way down to, uh, to gold, which is four degrees, uh, four degrees flat. How do you just flat. know that? Is it still the wooden We'll mallet? show you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the big plastic mallet and, uh, and a wrench. Oh, yeah. Uh, so at this stage we know from this birth certificate what the lie angle needs to be set to and we identify our lie angle by obviously painting the, uh, painting the hosel. So at this stage we'll paint the hosel but we won't set the loft and lie of the golf club until it's been built down on the, uh, down on the factory floor. Okay? So you think we'd have this really high-tech innovative way of painting the hosels? We don't. Each head is hand painted and you see this being done over here. So we have all the different airfix pots, all the different colours to represent all the different lie angles that we offer out in the field. And it is a case of going through one at a time, head by head, and painting them. Every head is scanned. Every G700 head is weighted. Right, puts the ferrule on about 75% of the way. The last 25% is done on the, uh, on the factory floor. What's that you're wiping that? Is that Just um, alcohol, okay. pure alcohol on it. Get rid of all the grit and yeah. stuff. Yeah.
So first stage of the process is what we call the knocking in station. So here we mix a two-part acrylic glue. We put some of the glue onto the hosel of the golf club and some onto the tip of the shaft. And if it's a steel shaft, we use the air hammer at the back to vibrate the steel shaft into the, uh, into the hosel. And if it's graphite, we use the knocking in plate on the, uh, on the floor. Now, Karsten Solheim was, a, was an engineer. So we, we use a tapered shaft going into a tapered hosel. So it's still a very mechanical fit without using the, uh, without using the glue. So if you were to knock it together with no glue, you wouldn't be able to pull it apart. Yeah. The glue just obviously acts to keep the golf shaft, uh, golf shaft concentric. See the different heater systems all the way around. And it works in a clockwise rotation. But what you get when the golf clubs come through, the glue's completely set. So you could technically go out and start playing golf with it straight away. Uh, we have four cooling fans on the end so that the product's not too hot to touch. How long does it take to it touch? Drag? Anything, depends on product, so it can be 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. But you, can, you can feel from it that it's, uh, it's not, not particularly hot to, uh, hot to touch, oh, yeah. so you can continue working with that product going, uh, going forward. What we used to have was, before this machine, we used to have racking all along the back wall. So you'd have to knock the product in, then hang it, and leave it 24 hours for the glue to dry before you can carry on the, uh, carry on the build process. The lost and lie machine. So inside here is a camera. So if I press that button, you see inside there there's a camera. That camera reads the bottom groove of a ping iron. So you'll notice the bottom groove of every ping iron is painted white. Because the camera reads that light, that uh, bottom groove, and spits out information onto the screen to allow the operator to know what adjustments need to be made to both loft and lie in order to get it right for the, uh, for the customer.
TPs, uh, custom tuning ports that get glued into the back of the head. Uh, they vary from sort of 3 grams and go all the way up to about 30 grams. And they go up in half gram increments. So because of the length of the golf club, the model of club you're using, the amount of tape, the size of the grip all influence swing weight. So we use the swing weight machine you can see here, which spits information onto the screen. So you can see here the next golf club is a pitching wedge that's going to be measured. The desired swing weight we want it to be D5. And it's currently coming in at C9. So in order to get that to D5, we use the 13 gram swing weight into the, uh, into the back of the head. Thank you.